This is a cute ancient song from the 80s so. <laughs> by Leslie Phillips. Before she changed her name, I think it was Sam Phillips. But, um, it's called Powder Room Politics. And I just, it's kind of a fun, cutesy little song, but um, I just feel like, you know, I, I'm talking to some brides, and some of you guys are so down on your parents. And you guys are like way cuter than me. I mean, come on, I'm like, on my best day, I'm Fiona, the bride of Shrek. You know, I'm like an ogre. It's like, this body has never fit my soul. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm the bride of Christ, and I, I look forward to the transformation when I can lay this body down and finally get a body that fits my soul. But, you know, here's the thing. Um, when you're, you, you know, you do the best you can with what you have, but, you know, we're all born different. We all have, are dealt a different hand in life, and you just may never be as cute or as pretty as some people out there on the outside, but you know what? The way, the way I figure it is, I'm going to make up for it on the inside. If I can't be cute and adorable on the outside, I'm going to be cute and adorable inside. I want to have the things in my heart, in my spirit, in my soul that Jesus finds pleasing, that Jesus finds beautiful. Okay? I'm never going to be a ballerina. I'm never going to be petite and little and cute. And, you know, I mean, I'm, 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 a, I'm a klutz. I'm so clumsy. I'm an ogress. But, but you know what? Inside, I have rainbows, butterflies, and unicorns. But, but also, I want to have the fruit of God's Spirit. You know, I want to bear him the fruit that he finds pleasing. I want to be a fragrance that is delicious in his nostrils. And that's another kind of beauty. And, you know, God doesn't look on the outward appearance. Thank God, thank you, Jesus, he doesn't look on the outward appearance. Otherwise, I'd be doomed. <laughs> he doesn't, brides. He looks on the heart. It doesn't matter if we're 95, we have wrinkles, if we're scarred. It, it doesn't matter. If we're missing body parts, or if we have extra body parts, I have three pupils. <laughs> and, and I have extra parts in other places. <laughs> Look, um, the point I'm making is that's, that's just a, one of the wonderful things about being a bride of Christ. You know, maybe our body wastes away, that the flower of our youth is fading. We get old, we get wrinkly, we get, our bodies wear out, but I think that was by design, that was by purpose, you know? I think God did that to humble us. How many times have you known someone who's incredibly beautiful, incredibly handsome, and they were just a mean-spirited, unkind, cruel, horrible person, condescending, they looked down on other people because they weren't as beautiful or they weren't as handsome as they were? You know, nothing can make you more cruel than, than vanity, than, than, than having a beautiful outward appearance and knowing it and, and then becoming haughty and looking down at others because of it. Now, there are people who are beautiful on both the outside and the inside, but we've all known those who were gorgeous on the outside, but on the inside they were they were horrible, you know? They were ugly. They, like Jesus said, whitewashed tombs, all clean and pretty on the outside, but on the inside full of dead men's bones and filth. We've known folks like that. Likewise, there are people who look homely and come, you know, they don't, they don't look that great. They don't, they don't necessarily have a, a lot to offer in the way of being a supermodel, male or female. Or <laughs> but they're beautiful people because they shine with the light of God because their heart is full of love and kindness and tenderness and acceptance. And you just love being around them. You don't care if they're 95 and they have wrinkles and gray hair, if they're bald or fat or skinny or scarred up or it doesn't matter you just they're beautiful people and you just love to be around them because they fill you with joy and they make you feel loved and they make you feel accepted that is true beauty in our society it's like wow it's so superficial magazines and, and commercials you know they sell everything with sex everything is sex appeal but not so with God God looks on the heart not the outward appearance. So we can stop comparing ourselves to others. We can stop feeling so down about ourselves, brides. You are beautiful. If the love of God is in you, if you submit yourself 
to our groom, to the husband of our souls. You are so beautiful. He looks on your heart. He sees your soul. He sees your spirit. And you're beautiful, friends. Come on, say it with me. I am beautiful. Don't believe the mirror in your bathroom. Believe the mirror of God's word. Come on, say it. I am beautiful. And him. Doesn't matter what we look like on the outside. It only matters what we look like on the inside. Can you believe that? Okay, it's kind of a fun, goofy little song. So, here we go. Jesus, and you're beautiful to me. You're beautiful brides, yeah. 